Perhaps the most important and fundamental quality of object-oriented design patterns is the notion of programming to an interface as opposed to an implementation. But by interface, this doesn't necessarily mean actual interfaces, although it, it frequently does. But it could just as easily be accomplished using abstract classes or even virtual classes with other implementation details alongside the logical interface. But regardless of the method of accomplishing this, which varies across languages, the goal is to strive for a loosely coupled architecture, encapsulating what varies in order to minimize unnecessary modifications to core components down the road. Our job is to identify and distinguish between the elements of an architecture that will remain constant and those that will change. By programming to an interface, we can favor composition over inheritance. This helps to adhere to the open-close principle of designing classes that are open to extension, yet closed for modification. Of course, there are exceptions to every rule, and this certainly holds true when developing an apex. In a multi-tenant architecture, we can't just follow in the footsteps of Java, for example, and produce massive libraries that we intend to reuse in all of our applications. In Apex, we need to be conscious of what we include in our apps and consider exactly how much we really need in terms of features. But that doesn't mean we should treat Apex like a scripting language that exists solely to execute individual commands. No, no. This is where the fun part comes in. An elegant design in Apex embodies the best of design principles that have evolved over the years while embracing the new realities of living within the limits of a multi-tenant platform. The beauty of Apex is that it combines a high level of abstraction with the power of a true object-oriented language. As Apex developers, while we realize the productivity benefits of the platform, it's also up to us to understand and leverage the more subtle aspects of the Apex language. In terms of programming to an interface and not an implementation, I mentioned three language features that will give us the vehicle to get there. Interfaces, abstract classes, and virtual classes. Fortunately, Apex supports all three. With these tools in hand, all we need is the proper understanding of how to leverage them in Apex to produce first-class software.